after some 40 days of driving around Bosnia now, I've decided to do something we haven't done before. We've returned to stay in a city that we've already stayed in on this trip. And the reason is, last time I was here in Banja Luka, something didn't feel right. Uh, certainly something was off. Uh, there was this nagging feeling everywhere I went that there were far more women than there were men. And I left. I left without determining the ratio. And I don't like leaving a stone unturned. So I've come back to sort of conduct a, a quasi-scientific study and figure out exactly what is the ratio of girls to guys here. We're gonna be here for five days and I guess the right way to go about this would be to uh, simply go on about our life, shop, eat, maybe a movie, have some drinks, walk around, see the sights, and just take note. How many girls? How many guys? And always document. Always be documenting. So you've seen some random clips, I guess, of my day as I walked about the city. I have to think about how to better organize this, this experiment. But I'll go home now and uh, I'll count. I'll review the video and, and I'll count and I'll announce today's ratio. Today's official ratio. Heading to the local bar right outside my building for a drink and then I'll call it a day. Good morning, day two. So yesterday, it was 75 girls, 10 boys. Seven and a half to one ratio. I only have about an hour and a half today to walk around. It's already three o'clock and I wanna see Oppenheimer at five. First random stop, a coffee shop. 11 girls, two guys, including me. That was 17 girls, three guys at that coffee shop. It's possible that the ratio evens out a bit when the sun goes down. So I haven't, haven't tested that out yet. A lot of the backdrop you're seeing here in this video, you've seen already from when I was here last. That's why I am silent about it. If you're interested, you can look up Republika Srpska road trip. I found all the men in town. They're playing chess. They've been playing chess this whole time. I don't know what to do with this information, with all those old men. Do I count them? Is this town possibly a one 80 year old man for every one 20 year old girl? I gotta think about this. I think I'll think about it over a coffee. I read that Bosnia it's one of the top 10 countries for coffee consumption. Oppenheimer is three hours long, so coffee's probably the right idea. This is a 1999 work of art on the side of the Bosca department store. It commemorates the 1969 earthquake here in Banja Luka. So 
This is what the inside of Bosca Shopping Center looks like. When it was completed in 1978, it was one of the largest shopping centers in all of Yugoslavia. So I wake up this morning and uh, Bianca's like, Fast Eddie Dice, why do you, why do you keep taking these, these long walks alone in, in Banja Luka? And I had to tell her this is the, this is the city of 100% women. She has been resting this whole time and so she didn't know. So she's insisted to come along on the walk today to see for herself. We are walking to the Museum of Modern Art. The museum is housed in the former train station. So Bianca's seen enough women and she's going home to make some oven dried tomatoes. Yes. Seen enough women? It's a lot, right? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, it's too many. But is it just me or is there something crazy going on here? Uh, there's something going on. I don't think Bianca appreciates my study, but the work will continue. Nothing must stop the work. There are at least two giant splavs in Banja Luka. The stationary raft boats. Get some drinks and food. Mm -hmm. Day four, I carefully reviewed the footage of the past three days and what I see are 241 girls and 31 boys. It's roughly an eight to one ratio. But this has all been within the uh, city center of Banja Luka. And I thought today, what about the villages? We're driving now to a village about a half an hour away, still within the municipality of Banja Luka. It's called uh, Krupa Navarbasu small village, maybe maybe 1,000, maybe 1,200 people. And, uh, you know, we'll walk around the village, see what there is to see, but we'll be paying attention to the ratio. I'm so curious. It's a wheat grinding water mill. Oh, wow. <laughs> Water powered. There it is, proof. Proof that water is grinding the wheat and the corn, the barley.
if we continued further up the trail along the, the Krupa, that's the name of the stream here that's powering the flour mills, we'd come to its source. But it's about 100 degrees today, Fahrenheit, so that is not going to happen. No? Now, there weren't really many people there at the, uh, the flour mills. I don't think we can count any of what just happened there. More girls and guys, certainly, but it was, it was kind of empty. Let's check out the parties on grave. There's some girls there. I'm a bit disappointed. It does seem that girls today just don't appreciate an old fashioned World War II parties on Memorial Cemetery. Let's see where the people of this village go swimming. They swim here. They jump off this cliff. That's, I guess that's the village beach. Heading back into Banja Luka city center and maybe to one of the city beaches. So we'll call this Bosnia beach crawl beach number 12. Srpske Toplice. Bianca says the Verbas, this river, is as cold or, get this, colder than the Una River. And the Una River was the coldest river I've ever been in. Fact. Colder than Iona. Without having reviewed the footage, I would estimate that the ratio of city beach was one to one, but I would argue it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the ratio was because it wasn't in a city center. And the focus of this study is Banja Luka city center. Village didn't count either. So nothing, nothing changes thanks to today. So we bought that water mill ground up buckwheat yesterday, and uh, here's the result. Leaving Banja Luka tomorrow, leaving Bosnia tomorrow, heading back home to Vršac in Serbia. So today is the last day for a bit of a walkabout. For lunch, I'm hoping for some home-cooked style traditional food. So I got Tarana, that's a, a beef soup, and Bamiya, that's an okra meat stew. Happy International Beer Day, by the way. Nectar is a local Banja Luka brew. So let's say our study is complete. It's been about five days and each day we went out a little bit. Today we saw 49 girls, seven guys. Total count, 296 girls. 38 guys, and that doesn't count the chess players, and it doesn't count what we saw at the village or the beach yesterday. That just wouldn't be fair. So, uh, looks like eight to one. Eight to one is the official ratio, girls to guys in Banja Luka. On an average day, Monday through Friday, go out for a stroll in the city center. You'll see eight girls for every guy. You're welcome. <laughs>